guys, welcome back to We're that YouTube, YouTube family. family. We've had issues, user error. I feel error. like that's a wrong intro for this time of the night. It's like in the <laughs> middle of the night. <laughs> And we are headed off for an adventure because we're going on an Alaskan cruise <laughs> with a new ship line that we've never been on before. So normally we have gone with a Disney Disney cruise line. This time we're going with a Norwegian cruise line. We're sailing on the Bliss and headed up to Alaska, a place that only David has gone to. None of us have gone to Alaska. So we're making memories and adventures together and I'm really excited about this. Started so started early. This is a trip for Jordan because Jordan just came home from a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and we want to find a fun way to celebrate and we have some really fun excursions planned. <laughs> but you planned. should also check out <laughs> Just Jordan 33 and All Around Audrey, right? Odd vlog. No, Odd vlog. Audrey and Spencer. Audrey and Spencer channel. channel. Yeah, just check them yes, all. Yes, check them all because they're going to have different adventures probably a little bit as they yeah. share their experiences on the cruise as well. Yeah. So you'll get three different perspectives and adventures anyway let's get going we have a flight to catch we made it to Seattle that's our first destination so we're gonna spend the day here at Seattle because our port is just down the street there there we're gonna get on our cruise ship tomorrow morning we didn't want to miss the ship so we came in a day early and we're gonna go see the sights of Seattle which we have some funny sites we're gonna go to I think and it's Epic. so cold <laughs> it's cold and now it's we're so starting freezing. to doubt our packing abilities and wonder if I we're going to one Jackie we might freeze on the cruise because yeah. we're going to Alaska going it's to Alaska. gonna be cold where well, there's gonna be snow and glaciers so we might have to buy some clothes while we're in Alaska but we're gonna make the most of it here in Seattle all right, we're preparing for our next landmark. Everyone gets a half piece because this is my gum for the entire week. <laughs> I can probably find you some more. So this is the hint of where we're going next. Comment down below, where do you think it's gonna be? Okay, detour. Gotta check this out. This guy walked out here with a handful of bread and all his friends just showed up to say hi. It reminds me of a movie. What movie does that remind you of? Okay, the movie it reminds me of is Home Alone in Central Park. But it could be Mary Poppins. It could be a lot of different movies. Katie's over there trying to find our next landmark. We can't find it. We don't know where it's at. All right, All right we found it. If you guys commented down below the gum wall. <laughs> This is so disgusting. It goes all the way down the alley here and all the way down there. So I asked a couple of police officers what the history was behind this. And they said there's a, a theater here and you couldn't chew gum in the theater. So when people would come visit the theater, they would take the gum out of their mouth, stick it on the wall. Yeah. And nobody came back to pick it up. So then all of a sudden it became like this big landmark. So uh, guess what? We're all gonna play some gum on the wall. Oh. All right, so this one's mine right here. Oh, oh. oh she's still attached. Oh. Yeah. So that's mine, that's Jordan's, and this one's Audrey's. Anybody else gonna donate to the wall? Anyone? Yeah, anyone? Anyone? Right. Right. Stick it anywhere. Right here. It's swinging. That's mine. I don't think it's going stick. Okay, update. We had lunch. We all had fish and chips. What was it? It was halibut and french fries, if you don't know what chips are. And then we decided to either go to an underground tour of Seattle or a museum or the I guess what is it what was it aquarium. called the aquarium so we read the the reviews of both the aquarium had very poor reviews so we decided we're gonna go underground <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting here in like this monstrous waiting room I don't know we got like 45 minutes there's games but Jake's brought his own as I'm you can see off. <laughs> they're all gonna I think I'm gonna take a quick little nap and then we're going to tour. Everybody, uh, because the tours have gone so badly, it gets a little damp down here. What do you think of the tour? Oh, so good. Kind of is a little smelly, though. It's kind of a little smelly. This used to be the main level. Yeah. And it gets a little damp. So all these buildings are 
Sound fun. I was looking up the madam. And the ghosty image was captured by a lady on her cell phone taking all kinds of photographs from standing back over the chair here. The salt under the streets up above that we were walking. That's weird. Yeah, let's do that door over there. Oh, that's what it used to look like. Hmm. That's crazy. Think how much they built up, huh? That is way crazy. I wonder how haunted this is. Why did they build a building versus just like replace the building? Because you just forget about your problems. Yeah, just build a build a building. Don't worry about it. Build a building. You know, we think the gold is the gold vault in the bank. Once upon a time. Did you see the bandit? What? I saw a bandit. Bandits? Bandits in there? There's the bank. We're underground right now. Pretty simple door. We just finished our tour. There's a lot of sewage jokes going on. A lot of crappers. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of crappers. A lot of crappy jokes, let's put it that way. But man, it was interesting. 33 blocks burnt down. The way they rebuilt this town, I don't know, that was crazy. They built it back up on yeah. top of the town underneath. Yeah, so there's like, it's crazy how it's built. If you guys are ever around here and you want to learn about downtown Seattle, it's a pretty decent tour. I thought pretty it was pretty decent. good. We're just so tired. I never would have thought about it. If we had more energy, we'd be more lively about it, but we were up at like <laughs> the middle of the night. We woke up at like <laughs> 3 a.m. Everybody's, everybody's tired. So but. it's been a long day. We're headed back to the hotel to check in and hopefully... Hopefully our rooms are ready. Take a little siesta, maybe a breather. Maybe go swimming. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. We're still in Seattle, but something but. super exciting is... Dun, 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 dun. That over there is our cruise ship. Um, so we're sailing on the Norwegian Bliss. It is gigantic. It's bigger than our hotel that we're staying in. So we're staying in the Marriott, which is right across from Pier 66, which is the Norwegian Pier. So if you guys happen to go on this cruise, that's it's a great hotel to stay in. Anyway, the we're so excited. Is the bomb here? The pizza is so, so good. good. I'm having cold pizza for breakfast because it's that good. It is really good, but I'm hungry and I want to go get like a cinnamon roll or a muffin or something. <laughs> And then we get to get on the ship probably in a couple hours, hopefully, if all goes well, and we can start exploring the ship. So we're going to be meeting up with the boys, Audrey and Spencer. They're in a different room and go eat. We all have matching shirts. Oh yeah, we got cruise shirts. We're all in our... Yes, today we're all going to be dressed the same. They're supposed to be. That's the plan at least. I mean, different bottoms, but the top oh. shirts are... Yes. So that will be fun. Alrighty, we just got through check through. We got checked in and now we are boarding the ship for the first time that we've ever boarded a Norwegian one. We've done other cruises, but not this one. So we're kind of excited to see how it goes. Okay, we are boarding. It's official. We had to wait for a while. We're finally boarding. We're boarding, we're boarding, we're boarding. We're finally, we're boarding. I'm like, we went through a huge crowd of wait. Definitely, it was crazy and kind of chaos. Back in that room, we had to wait for a while in a crowd. And it was confusing for everybody. But now we get aboard. So I would not get a star, a full star for that whole boarding experience. It was not as good as Disney. They were not very organized. But we get to get on now. Okay, vacation has started. He's over there. Oh, that's a drop. That's a drop. Okay, so we're checking out the spa on the ship actually first because we want to decide if we want to come do this. And here is like a snow room. It's all super icy cold. It's hard to see. And down here is the salt bath. But we kind of want to do these facilities, so we're checking this out first. It's the salt bathroom. Oh, yeah. What do you think? It just feels hot in here. It's just checking out the sauna, the hot room. 
That's the one where we have a hard yeah. time staying in. It's very hot. We got the spa passes and we're now exploring the aqua park. We're so spoiled. That's going to be so fun going to the spa. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ty can't go, so Ty and Jacob are going to get arcade passes and go to the arcade. Yeah. But good time. We're listening to this guy thing about washing your hands. But we're on our way to crazy. get ice cream, but there's also lunch, it's so crazy. maybe we'll get lunch and ice cream. I don't know if that's the like soft stuff ice cream there. Or that's not it? That's coffee. That's coffee. Okay, somewhere around here. We will find it. Yeah. Let's go eat ice cream. Is there chocolate or is it just that one? Whoa! Oh! Let's try this one. Ice cream! Chocolate! Gotta go with the swirl. That one isn't really swirl. You make it swirl. No, I'm saying. I don't know. It's just vanilla. Yeah. Nice with chocolate. Perfect. All right, we're checking out the arcade package to see if this is something that anybody wants to do, especially for Jacob Ty, because they need to find stuff to do while we're at the spa. So they can only use it on the green swipes, like the little green light ones. Any other colors they can't use it on. So we have to decide if it's worth it. Alrighty, it is night time. Tonight we went to a, what is that, silent dance party? It's a silent dance party is where you have headphones on and you're listening to music, but everybody has, there's like four different groups listening to music that are all different from different, different genres. genres. It's like the 80s, oh. 90s, 2000s and today's. So that everybody's dancing different and singing different. And it's really funny because if you don't have the headphones on, it's just quiet and you're watching people dance. <laughs> So we did some fun activities. We went to the spa, which I'll take you to the spa another day because that was fun. We went in the snow room. We relaxed. More adventures tomorrow. I know we're going to do a racetrack and some other things. Good morning. Okay. We're ready for the day. Super cold out here. Well, not super cold. I think we're getting colder, but it is a little cold and very windy. And we're trying to get our neighbors awake, which is Audrey and Spencer and Ty, because we're ready to go eat breakfast. David got everybody up kind of early. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Did you sleep good last night? Not really, but it's okay. Yeah. Last night was a little rough, and usually we sleep so good on the cruise because of the boat, like the way the ship rocks a little bit. It was a little rough, but tonight's going to be great, and I don't know, we don't have too many plans other the than a racetrack. Going. We should go get on the water slide. Oh, that would be yeah. so cold. <laughs> it so, goes out over the edge of the ship. It's yeah, crazy. it's a crazy water so we have a racetrack and we have a show tonight. Six. Oh my goodness, I can't even see with my hair. Maybe we'll see the spa. <laughs> and maybe a spa, yes. Alright, today we're gonna make it an adventure. Oh. Okay. Breakfast time and David ordered <laughs> stewed prunes. Stewed prunes. <laughs> I feel like this is like a challenge. I wanted to get something on the menu that I didn't think anybody else ever got. And I think this is it. I think I did it. You did it. And I got delicious fruit salad. I think it's actually so cute and so pretty. It does look good. Looks delicious. Trade you. I'll trade you. And they're all starving. I got croissants. Oh, he got a croissant. I got mini croissants. <laughs> mini croissants. Oh, oh you got a whole basket of croissants? Yeah. Did you actually order those? Yeah. Okay, I got the biscuit for gravy. Thank you so much. David got the omelet. I got an omelet. So I got waffles. I got an omelet. I got waffles and strawberries. And extra strawberries. That's awesome. And strawberry. And then so Jake good. got an omelet. <laughs> and it's all the Don't same omelets. Those are our food choices. <laughs> oh, and breakfast you got number one. Yeah, I got a biscuit. This is breakfast number one. Then we're going to go upstairs and have breakfast number two. I don't think so. I think we're going to go work out breakfast? in the gym yeah. with Jordan. Don't Can I even be in pass? the gym? I don't no, think so. Yeah, I think the gym is to work out. I can't be in the gym. You have to be six feet. Except for Ty. Ty will have to stand outside no. the gym and wait for us. Just kidding. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are about to go hit the racetracks. 
I went to the spa a little bit with Audrey, Jordan, and Spencer this morning while David went bowling with the boys and arcading, right? You went to the arcade? Yep. And now David's getting the GoPro ready because he's going to hopefully record our race on the racetrack. It is a little bit windy out and what's really cool is at lunchtime we were sitting there and we saw some wells. A little family or a group, I don't know is what you call them. A pod of orcas? A pod of wells and their spouts. They weren't too far from the ship so that's, that's exciting because cool. we haven't seen Alaska yet. We're not quite there but we've already spun wells. We are in Canadian <laughs> waters, eh? Oh yeah. So Getting my Super GoPro fun. contraption put together. I've never used this before, so I hope it works because it's like record down. Because that's the only thing you can have on the go karts, and yeah. yeah, hopefully it won't be too windy and crazy. <laughs> Audrey started getting a little bit motion sickness from the boat because this boat does the ship does feel a little bit more rocky than what we've felt on past ships. All right, I've heard you guys, um, you and Spencer and everybody call this a boat and a ship. I know it's what a is ship. It? Because there is a technical... It's a ship. It's a ship. But a we boat call it is a boat, submarine. Right now. A ship is on top of the water. So you think of on top of the water are ships, boats go under the water. Then why do it's people weird. call lake boats boats? Well, or house boats boats? That's different. Oh. This is, we're talking real time. The real out stuff. Here the, out here in the big school. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me show you the view. This is our view of Jake and Jordan chilling. They're just chilling out here looking for wells and reading books. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Getting ready to go ride a go-kart on top of a boat. big ship. Ship? A ship. Yep. Sorry, not boat. <laughs> yes. Okay, little update on day two on the cruise ship. So Ty, Jordan, and I went upstairs to the pool and it was super wait, cold. Me and Jake. Oh wait. Ty. I thought you said Jordan and I went to the pool this afternoon after we did the racetrack while Jake, David, Audrey, and Spencer went to the spa. So it was super fun. It was really cold. Audrey no, Jordan and Ty rode the slide that goes out over the pool over the ship which was really fun and it was like a laser tube show in the slide. Well, I chilled in the hot tub, but we swam in the pool. Then as soon as we got out, it started pouring rain. So it was good timing. Anyway, the boys and Audrey and Spencer, Jake, hi, hi, nice. <laughs> he's waving. <laughs> we got messy towels. Anyway, they went to the spa, had fun. Jake's eh, okay. with it. He could give or, give or take the spa, doesn't matter. But anyway, we just got done seeing a show on the cruise called Six, and it was really good. We loved it, except for Jake, because he doesn't do well with loud, booming sounds. Oh, yeah. And it was loud, and it hurts his ears and his soul. And so it wasn't not his favorite, but now we got to take all these dirty towels back up to the swimming pool area. So that's why they're sitting there. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do the rest of the night. I'm going to so, be by myself. <laughs> you're going to stay here. You're not yeah. going to go with us up. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Jake needs some alone time. <laughs> anyway, this second day of the cruise is super fun. We've had fun, but tomorrow is going to be even really cooler because this is a dock place where yeah. we get to get off and we're gonna go kayaking on the water so I'm excited about that Jake's super excited we get it all to go so on to the next day alrighty new day we just got breakfast some of us are tired not in our room not these guys Play I'm talking games. about another room <laughs> anyway we now can see land we're about to go to Sitka Alaska now come out here and see if we can see it. But David and I went up to observation deck and we could see the a volcano land. Oh, it's right there. Okay. It's right there. So we are approaching and then we get to do our first excursion. Which I'm really excited about. Okay, so today's plan, as soon as we dock, 
we are going to meet up with our group and we're going canoeing. So we are going canoeing to look at sea urchins and other critters in the water and just to see the land and the water and enjoy a day out on the water. But it is cold and we don't know if we're gonna get wet. I hope not. I really don't want to get wet today. So we're gonna try this. We don't want to get wet, but he packed his wet shirt. You're sure they can get wet. <laughs> And we have three hours um, on the land that we're going to stay. We could stay until 5 o'clock and then we have to be back on this ship or else we're left behind because they have actually left people behind before at ports. So you, if you go on a cruise, you never want to linger too long that your ship leaves without you because they will. They will not wait for you. Our goal is go do the excursion, come back here, have lunch, and then we'll have plenty of time to do whatever we want to do before dinner, before the ship leaves. I don't know if we have a show or anything tonight. We can make it. But that's the game plan. We are admiring the views because it is so pretty here. Like, so pretty. We're, everybody pretty much is just like stepping out to take pictures. You can see so pretty. Like, people stepping out there around us. Cause this is so picturesque. We say we feel like we're in a Bob Ross painting. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all of us enjoying the view here. <laughs> I think I got in our photo. Yep. <laughs> Great, now I need to walk. So pretty, huh? This is awesome. We're so excited. We can't get away. I think we're going to be kayaking around some of these islands or something, some island somewhere, where we get to go see kind of like the critters and stuff around there. The critters. The critters. <laughs> sea urchins and whatnots. All right, we're kayaking. So Ty is our navigator. He's the one that's going to, he's got the rudder. Let's see how well he keeps us from hitting others. Let's see how well he's done so far. <laughs> Uh-oh. Head inland. Better stop. Go, Ty. Go to the right. Okay, okay we're going under. That's what she's seeing. You guys don't know how terrifying this is to hold your phone out over the water. <laughs> oh, I know. In this very relaxing scenery. <laughs> and then to hold your phone out is so terrifying. What do you see? Snails. They're all over the rocks. <laughs> Snails and birds and jellyfish. <laughs> so fun. That's oh, there are snails <laughs> right there. I see it. They're like Pretty cool. Yeah, they are. All the little jellies. I'm not paddling. Ty is my kayak butler hooking me up, letting me relax. Ty just informed me that he messed up his pedal. Yeah, my not good to like hear. All the way up to my waist now. What? It's up to your waist? Great, we're broken, and everybody's leaving us. Wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, we came to Sitka and we're at the National Park and we are seeing all the totem poles. It's very cool. There's totems and more totems and more totems over there. So we're going to tour this little walk through the forest and see all these different totems. Salmon being connected in the very top. So tall. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness, these trees are so tall. 
<gasps> I'm watching Audrey film. I'm filming Audrey film. <laughs> film session. Filming session. <laughs> this is amazing forest. I love this so much. Okay, best walk ever. Who wants to live in here? To be honest. That's so good. Do you want to live in this forest? I'm in the forest I will live in this forest with you. I'd be a fairy. I would be the the gnome. You'd be a gnome? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Ty, what are you in the forest? Ewok. Bigfoot? Ewok. <laughs> Ewok. Like that Actually, it would be a good Ewok. This is so amazing. I love this totem pole walk. Hey, if you're in Sitka, Alaska, definitely come here. It's really cool. Ty's climbing this really cool tree trunk that we found. It's got a hole in it. So cool. This is such a magical forest. Good job. Just be careful getting down. Oh my gosh. So this tree muddy down there. goes so far up. And I love how the light comes through the trees. It's so pretty. Good morning. <laughs> so today we have an early start. We're actually going to go see the Mendenhall Glacier today, but we thought we would get started with breakfast in bed because we have to be at our meeting station at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> We're so tired. So we are docked. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to wake up other guests, but we are docked right outside of Juno and today we're going for a salmon bake. Bright and early in the morning, a salmon bake. I don't know how that's going to be, if that's going to be our lunch or if that's breakfast, but this is our view. Okay, so yesterday was super magical and so fun. If today can be as awesome as yesterday, we're in for a good day. <laughs> so after yesterday, what we didn't show you is that the kids came back and kind of did their thing. Well, David and I went up to the spa and chilled in the spa for a while and watched the views by the big windows as the mountains rolled by as we were driving, or as we were driving, going, sailing, sailing up towards Juno. So that was yesterday, and then we got a good night's sleep, got to bed kind of at a decent hour, and now we're going to be hurrying eating breakfast and heading off to our early morning excursion. What's crazy is later on in this trip we have an even earlier, no this one we have to meet at 8. That's right, we have one that, where we have to meet at 6.30. So we ordered breakfast at 6.30 so that we could be ready to be down at our station at 8. But there's one where we have to be at the station at 6.30 in the morning. They don't even serve breakfast until 6.30 so we're gonna have to figure out something for that. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head off today to go to Salmon Bank. All right, 30 minute bus ride. How happy are we? Scale of one mm -hmm. to 10. I don't know. Nine, eight. And we made it to the dun dun dun. The big old glacier. Check this out guys. Mendenhall Glacier. And there's like little icebergs in the water that have broken off from it. Can't, oh, and then there's a big old waterfall over there. Nice. Check this out. The air is cold. It's crisp. It's refreshing. And the water looks milky. What the what? What's up with the water? <laughs> oh, look at all those icebergs. Teeny baby ones. And you were going to take a helicopter right out there. And we're going to call this an ice cube. You These are ice cubes. Helicopter. That's so cool. All right, Ty, tribute. Let's see how cold the water is. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Look at this. Pretty neat. Describe the air temperature. It's a little crisp. It's crisp? Crisp. Uh, I don't know about this uh, milky water. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little that? murky. I was thinking it'd be like really crystal, crystal clear. clear. <laughs> it's it's not so much. Probably because of the type of mud that's underneath it makes it look that way. How cold do you Pretty think the neat. water is? Too cold. 
I can't even see it. But... All right, different vantage point here. Sure. We'll go over the shoulder of Jake. Oh my, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> see all the little mini tiny little floating? What do you call those little mini tiny floating? Why sure? Ice Break cubes. Off ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice and cool up here That's though. A big old glacier. It's so pretty. <laughs> no One of these days it'll all be melted and it'll just be a valley. That's it's true. Pretty. It will be. It'll look just like this one of these days. They said if the mountains are peaked, they were above the glacier. If they're rounded, they once were, were below. They were formed because the glacier went over the top of them and made them round. Huh. I didn't so know that. If it's way up there at the top, it's because it was above the glacier. That's interesting. Pretty cool. All right, interview time. We've been here at the glacier. That one right there. Do you like how I'm wearing my Hawaii shirt in freezing Alaska? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> funny. All right, we've been here for about 15 minutes. Describe how cold you are. Um, I'm not, well, I'm not that chilly, but my hands are tingly. Yeah. My hands are tingly and my face is tingly. It's like when you wake up on an early morning and you go for a run, but it's like, kind of chilly but like you're not like freezing it's getting that's cool. how i describe it it's pretty nice yeah it's, it's really refreshing it's refreshing for it's sure but if we were here it. for another 30 minutes i'd be putting on my hoodie because it would be kind of cold but for this view but so this worth it. is so worth it ice cubes in a lake being fed by the glacier Okay, for all of you really, really smart people, how many gallons per minute is coming down that wall, that mountain? Is it A, 50 gallons per minute, B, 2,000 gallons per minute, C, 5,000 gallons per minute, or D, I have no clue, but that's a lot of water per minute. How about that wall over here? That is. <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> Waldo? Waldo? Where's the other two Waldo? They're over there. Oh, they're over there. Alright. Thoughts? Initial thoughts? It looks like a nugget. It looks like a nugget? <laughs> it's great. Alright. We're at the salmon bake off. Did you get a cook off? What is this? The salmon bake. It's not bake off. <laughs> I'm so used to doing bake offs. <laughs> so we got uh, ribs at the salmon bake. Whole bunch of other, they have salads, all sorts of stuff. And Coleslaw, yeah. cornbread. We basically have like a half hour to eat and get back on the bus so we don't half miss hour. our cruise. We're gonna miss it. Yeah, we don't wanna miss our cruise leaving. So we're all here from the same ship, so hopefully they won't leave us. <laughs> and I'm the cousin y'all forgot. <laughs> oh, and you're the cousin. There's our cousin. <laughs> yes. What was your thoughts on the salmon bake? It was really good. It was, well, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like taste testing salmon. It was like a whole big meal. It was so a huge meal. I was not expecting my expectations. My, um, ribs. Breakfast number two. Check. <laughs> I'm so full. Okay, so we're eating, and David says, as soon as we get back on the ship, we're going up to get a little snack. Which I was like, what? We're minutes. so full, though. Maybe an ice cream cone, though. <laughs> just saying, that's part of our thing when we get on There's cruises. For ice cream. We always have to have an ice cream cone. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Ty, have you enjoyed your day? Ice cream. It's been a good day. We made it back on ship, but now we are going to head to the spa. I think Jake and Ty are going to chill out in the rooms and maybe go get some ice cream, do whatever, and then we're going to go relax in the spa because my back is kinked and I need to be spoiled and go have that worked out. So we're going to hang out in the spa for a couple hours and then probably go to a comedy show tonight. So. That's pretty much our schedule. We made it back to the boat on time. It should be departing from the port anytime now. So hopefully, hopefully everybody made it back on board this ship. But there's many other ships lined up in port. As you can see, we were sharing Juno with our fellow travelers and it's a very busy port. So I think we determined that we love Juno. Juno's very fun and very pretty, but I think Sitka, I could seriously live there. Sitka is so pretty. I want to go get a cabin and stay in Sitka for a summer because 
that place needs explored. There's so much to see and I feel like I missed out on so many things that I didn't get to explore. Like I want to get up in the mountains. I want to go more kayaking. I want to go snorkeling in the waters of Sitka, Sitka even though it's like cold. I want to eat the food and explore the magical forest more. So definitely that would be a bucket list to return and actually get a cabin there. At least now, this is why you do these little mini tours because then you know where you want to spend vacation for a longer time. So if we ever get the opportunity, maybe. If not, I'll just dream about it. I have all those memories, which is pretty cool. But we're headed off now to the spa and then dinner and a comedy show. Alrighty, we're back from the spa. We've actually run up top to have dinner. We had dinner number one. Okay, so we it's five o'clock. We will have dinner, dinner number two. <laughs> okay, but this view is gorgeous. So we were eating while they were passing a lot of these little icebergs, but there's still plenty of icebergs, and I see them even up ahead. But this mountain range is really, really, really pretty. It's like so. all the woods. But it's super steep. So like these steep. mountains are so steep. Like to try to like inhabit this would be really hard because you just can't live on these hills very well. But this water, oh my, it's so blue, so beautiful. This view is incredible. Like between the sky and the blue water and the mountain range, yeah. that's a really gorgeous picture. It's Bob Ross in real life. It is. This is really, wow. This is dreamy. Yeah, we're passing all these chunks of ice. So ice cubes. It's definitely cold. We could fill it. While we were walking through the ship, we could actually Freezing. feel how cold it was. Freezing. It's very cold. <laughs> it's Alaska. Freezing. Do you see the ice in the water? Whoa. There's ice in the water. This is looking like a Titanic moment. <laughs> this is Titanic. Yeah. Like there's a little... Uh, yeah, sketch. Like to see ice in the water while on a boat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's, nothing, that's never something I thought I'd say. So that's how much you can see how much is underneath it. Yeah, Fun true. fact. In an iceberg, which is seen more, the top, above the water, or under the, the underneath. water? The underneath. Comment down below. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I know it's underneath. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All right, check this out. All these ice cubes, AKA, AKA icebergs floating in the water here. I'm just glad they're really small and not big or else we'd be having a Titanic moment here. <laughs> Look how many there are. There's hundreds of them. They're everywhere. Like you could stand on that one. That one's a big chunkers. That one, maybe not so much. That one you can float on. <laughs> There's some pretty big ones out there. Good thing they're out there. This is so cool. And it's like this on the other side of the ship as well. So we're kind of going like this, this big valley. It's kind of cool, this canyon. I guess we're in a canyon. There's no one back there. There's just like all these big glaciers that just feed down into this water. Okay, so we made it up to the glacier. We have to turn around because it's the end of the line. But you can't really see it because there we go. Right up there is the glacier. Blue ice. Check that out. Let's see if I can zoom us in a little further. Zoomy, zoomy. That's the glacier that's feeding this. See the blue ice there? That is really cool. There is a ship. If you look right there at the base, about right there, there's one that's like right up against those glacier. Good morning, it's Hi another guys. day. <laughs> and we're both trying to race in the vlogging because we're both doing our intros, but today we're going on a Jeep ride. I'm filming anyway. <laughs> but first we have to take this gondola across before we go on our Jeep ride. Oh, we're about to go fast. Anything you want to say for my vlog as well as yours, Audrey? You got it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Woo, let's go! Oh, the doors are gonna close. Huh? <laughs> 
Uh. Okay, we just got off the gondola. Now we just need to find the adventure center. And then we get to also just kind of wander around and explore the views because we are ahead of schedule. So the day is ours. We have to be back on the ship by three o'clock. So whenever they say that, we always are back by 2.30, half hour early, just to make sure we don't miss our ship. We do not want to... Oh my goodness. As much as we love line. Alaska, we don't want to be left here stranded. No. I think that's the zip line coming down that the mountain. Is, yeah. That's cool. We're going to check out these views and then I think the Adventure Center is that building right there. I'm pretty sure. But we're going to check out over here. Okay, there's definitely the zip line off that mountain. That's this cool. This is the longest zip line. Longest or steepest? I mean, I would longest. The longest, longest zip line. I saw a chipmunk. Squirrel. Our adventure says we might see squirrels. <laughs> I think I just saw a squirrel. Oh, no way. It's so pretty. Okay, there's a statue of a whale. And I think this is a good place to look for whales actually because somewhere close by here is like one of the greatest populations of whales where they are always seen and spotted. It's somewhere near here, so if you do the whale watching, you can see. Okay, we just discovered these, well, these berries are lining the whole entire walkway, and they are thimble berries. You can see a red one down there. We have these in Utah as well, and you can eat these as long as you know that they really are thimble berries. <laughs> but everybody's just down here chilling. And I actually saw back there in some houses a garden, and that was on my bucket list to see Alaska mm -hmm. garden. So we're really excited. So we're just walking around touring this little town on this island, and then we're gonna go to our meeting spot. But this is cute. So pretty. It's so cute. Oh, here. Like a little I love it. It's so pretty. I love it. It is. It's very pretty. I love all the berries. Yeah, Top three most beautiful places. Yes. We're gonna get in our Jeeps and caravan through the countryside, and hopefully, we see a bear. Yeah. That's goals. Okay, we are in the Jeep. Woo! We got team David, Jordan, and Jacob. Jake. And then in the Jeep up there, we've got the rest of them. <laughs> and then all the rest. So we're actually the last Jeep in the whole train. And last the best of all. I team. just connected my phone. Look, it says <laughs> JoJo's connected to the Jeep. We're Let's go. <laughs> Should we take tops off? Oh, Maybe. can it actually come off? They can, but I don't know if we're supposed to. Probably not supposed to. But I'm so excited for this. I have music downloaded, so we get to listen to some good songs on our little drive guess. out here in beautiful Alaska. Mamma Mia. Yeah. Mama <laughs> I was going to say, I've got Mamma Mia, I have <laughs> Hamilton, and an ABBA album. So. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, we can spread out. We can spread out as much as we need to, as a matter of fact, uh, to try to keep the dust down for ourselves. As long as you can hear my voice, yeah, Jake. Uh, you're in good shape, and I will be waiting <laughs> at the at least the crucial turns. We'll we decided we better the turn right on beginning. the radio yeah, to the channel that he is giving the tour at instead of listening to Hamilton. Doing a rain dance right now. <laughs> maybe but maybe we'll turn it on later. <laughs> uh, there are 50 different kinds of berries on this island. Uh, 27 of those different varieties are edible. There's only two that are considered toxic or poisonous. We are at our first little stop. Um, going out of the Jeeps. We're gonna go look at something. I was getting really <laughs> tired, so I don't know what actually he said we were gonna like look at. I look over and Jake's sleeping, Jordan's <laughs> sleeping. I'm like, dude, we're Put you to sleep. <laughs> it was It was very relaxing. But my favorite thing that I've learned from the tour so far is that there is no poison ivy and no poison oak out here in Alaska on this island, um, which is amazing because I'm always stressed about poison <laughs> ivy and there's no ticks either or snakes. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Down here is where the salmon are spawning. Uh, so what they're doing down here is when you see them Flapping her tail real hard, and there's a puff of dirt behind it, and yeah. a little indentation to lay their eggs. Oh. Look at these trees. Like the branches all just go up and they make a V. It's really cool. It's like, a, like they're all saluting us as we go through the trees. 
Bears are like isolated animals. They don't really like to hang out in packs. They're always by themselves. Yeah, he said bears don't got no friends. No friends. Take the camera. All right, let's see if Dad can make this maneuver. Oh, and the brakes. Oh, probably better back up just so I don't scratch the paint. I need to make this pretty little Jeep have a big scratch down the side of it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Jake's like, whoa. When you last, you get to set your own speed limits. <laughs> oh my. Good morning. It is our last Alaska day because tomorrow we're going to be in Canada. So last night we ended up going to a show. Um, it was the Jersey Boys, which is kind of about the Four Seasons. It's kind of the story of the uh, Four Seasons musical group. And then we ended up going to Los Lobos. It's a Mexican restaurant and we were so tired by that time, but we went to bed and it is like 5.30 now. So we woke up at 5 a.m. and we're super tired, but we're cruising into Ketchikan and then we're going to go on our uh, little, we're gonna take this little boat cruise and do a bonfire. And I think we're having like reindeer hot dogs or something. And so we're gonna try to head up top of the ship and try to find something to eat because we think we won't get reindeer sausage until lunchtime. So we're going to try to hurry and grab something for breakfast. The buffet's not open, but we're hoping we can go find something. There's some other cruise ships coming in with us as well. And we're just still slowly making our way, but we have to be at our meeting spot off the boat at 6.45. So we gotta find, we gotta hurry and get food and then find out where we're supposed to be meeting because it's somewhere off the boat instead of on the boat. And then go on this adventure where we might see some wells and porpoises and things like that. It's breakfast. <laughs> so we're eating up in the lounge as we cruise into port. And this is the lounge where it's just this beautiful hangout area. And you can walk all the way around. There's like windows all the way around. You can see. And they have a very tiny, tiny buffet. Yep. We're on our little safari tour. We're getting all the pictures. Wildlife safari. And it's really oh, awesome tech. because there's just 10 of us and I love it. Yeah, I like the small group. So this boat can hold probably three times as much, but we have a small group today and I'm very happy about that. We have so much pictures. room. Oh, you're taking pictures. Sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> okay. Last day of law school. Oh, careful, don't fall. Woo. It's a little rockety up here. <laughs> but we're looking for wells and purposes and things. So that's our goal. We almost got this charted just for ourselves. We just brought three friends this time. Can you imagine if we had that? It's just it's us. crazy. It's oh, pretty neat. Crazy. I want to move up here. To this place or Sitka? Sitka so far. But Sitka so far. All right, my friends. You guys hear me job. okay like this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so our first sighting, there's a bald eagle right over there on the rock. And over here, we have some seals right there. Pretty fun. <laughs> going on land things there. Land. They're going on land here. <laughs> Oh, we made it! <laughs> We're going on a nature walk. It's so pretty. in the forest. We saw a nursery log and we saw a plant that they call wild celery but don't eat it because said, it stings. Yeah, they said they don't got no poison ivy, they don't got no poison oak, but they do have this celery plant that like if it gets on That's you, what they call it's it. gonna burn you. So don't, don't eat the touch wild the celery, celery in Alaska. <laughs> 
because if you break it and the juice gets on you it creates a chemical reaction and it starts to burn so pretty scary stuff but this is amazing so apparently we're on an old logging road that's why there's smaller trees and then there's the bigger giant trees so these smaller ones are like 50 years old this is beautiful our ground is spongy you can see it kind of move as you walk it's really weird to walk on we're making reindeer dogs and having treats. We're making our s'mores. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Big side tray. Right? It looks like a normal hot dog. This is reindeer dog. How's your guys' nature walk? It's good. Her like they have her beignets. They have a bunch of types of gumbo. Ooh, in they're dumb. Yes. They're reindeer. Oh my god. They're so cool. I don't want to say it. Rusty, they're reindeer dogs. <laughs> I, I think I was trying so to combine dogs and reindeer. <laughs> no, no, I'm making Splash Mountain. <laughs> you good, Mom? I'm good. Oh, oh my God, big bubble. I'm happy I because I got chips. It's going to be the same type of oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be the same. Church church what do you think stuff? of your reindeer yeah. dog? It's and good. Then she got me it's really, really like good, it. actually. Better than the ones we get home. It tastes different than a beef dog, though. You can tell that it's like a deer. Tastes really good. It's not like too gamey or anything like that. I'll have another one. Yeah. But you can really look super easy. Well, I'm eyeing those s'mores, so I kind of want to get a s'mores after this because I'm all about the junk food right now. <laughs> okay, so we got king crab for Jake because that was one of his bucket list items here in Alaska. So we got that right before we get back on our cruise ship that's waiting out there. We're done with our boat adventure. We really didn't see anything but eagles, but it was still really fun to just do a bonfire on the beach. And now we're so tired, but we are going to have king crab here in Alaska. Take a joint and then snap it in the middle. And yeah. pull it. Pokey. Okay, so break it. Break the joint. How'd I do that? Boom, boom. Jake just did. Hurts. Now you break in the middle of that. Oh, that's good. Break in the middle of that. Yep. See how it tastes, Jake. Pull it out. It's a little bit of a work to, you know, you have to really oh, work so to even just me. break it and then cut it, right? Just snap the leg off and then cut it with scissors. It goes against sort of trying Jake, to... Jake, do you want some I can't. scissors? It's too bulky. These are, these are huge. They oh, can... look, Jake did it. Whoa. Jake, there's butter right there. You can dip it in. <laughs> just try not to double dip. What are you doing? Boy. Why are you doing it like that? Don't. Oh, slather it in there, Jake. So you don't have to double dip. There you go. Wow, right? Do you want any lime on it? No. Taste test. <laughs> Video assumption. <laughs> Give us your review. Good crap. You like it? Yeah. Let's go. That would be better. Oh, that's, that's good. Awesome. All right, last day. We're in our super messy room. Jordan's up so there in her messy. bunk bed. Jake's down there reading a book. Kitty's playing some sort of game, <laughs> probably Dinkum. I don't know. But well, check this out. We are in Canada. It's eight o'clock at night. The last night. Here we are. Welcome to Canada. We're being let in by Mr. Tug. Just making sure we don't hit the pier. We've only got like a couple of hours before it gets dark, and then we've got to be back on the boat because then I think it's flipping it in reverse. Heading to Seattle. So Tomorrow morning, Seattle. We get up, do a quick pack, yep. eat some breakfast. Today has been a chill day. It's been We've a super chill day. Really nothing today. Not even the spa. Because <laughs> we none of us wanted to get ready again. So Ty and Spencer and I, oh, we should have videotaped this. Oh, it would have been yeah. so cool. So we went down to the arcade and we th said to ourselves, you know the basketball game where you shoot the basketball hoops? Well, when you play it, you can only get so far before you start getting tired and, and you just can't hit the shots anymore. So what we did is Ty took round one, Spencer took round two, I would take round three, and then if we did well enough, uh, somebody else would come in and do round four. Well, there was a kid there, and I say kid because he's probably 17 years old, seven feet tall, and he could almost just reach the basket. So he'd pick up ball, drop in the basket, and he got like 390... What was it? 393 points. And so all day yesterday, actually not all day, last night from about, what was it, about 8 to 11.30, Spencer, Ty, and I were down there with the basketball hoop. 
going and going and going. We beat one of the high scores on one side, but we couldn't beat the other. So this morning we got up, went down there, and we played and played and played and played and played. We got the high score, 410 points. The seven foot tall kid came in, saw that, and he's like, ah, oh, and he couldn't beat us. So as of right now, we are the leaders in that. All right, we are in Canada. We had a crazy cab driver that drove way crazy. Parliament building right back but there. We're at the Parliament building, but we let's talk about the cab driver because he pretty much about killed us. Like hey, we were level, swerving in and out. We split up. We were we the split up. Guy. It was a crazy. The guy. boys and David were with the safe one, but we were literally driving in the wrong lane with oncoming traffic at full speed, mock speed, as fast as he could. And at the last second, within an inch, we swerved over and made a narrow escape and swerved back and barely missed people and dogs. And it was very frightening. It, it was, was very, terrifying. very frightening. You know that handle that you grab when your friend's a scary driver? It's the. Yeah, I was clutching yeah. on that thing the whole way. I was like. <laughs> it's probably the scariest cab ride I've had, but so we made it. He was, in, he was like. I will get you with your group, but I'm like, I think you're getting us ahead of the group. And then no. we have a video like, of Jordan holding Whoa. back there going, oh. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, but we did make it here. We just have to make our way back to the port sometime before our ship leaves, and I don't even know where we're at because I was just praying. We don't even know where we are. <laughs> they just dropped us off some random place in Canada at like nighttime. Yeah. Or the crazy cab driver. And we have a couple hours, and then we have to get back yeah, on the luck. ship. So this is already a fun experience in Canada. <laughs> what do you think of your first time I'm gonna time assume in not all Canadians drive that crazy. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna hope. exclusive to the cab drivers, but so far it's been really chill. <laughs> chill? Not, it's been chill? You describe it as chill? Chill? I chill. Out here from New York. Is chill. We almost no. died like five times and Spencer's like, I oh, just said for chill. <laughs> It's all good though. This is chill. This is chill here. It's true. <laughs> this is actually meant. really, really beautiful. But yeah, it doesn't so, feel that different from America. No, like everybody seems the same, right? The yeah. people that we did meet at the dock at the pier, they they seem very American, but they're Canadian. They seem very yeah. Didn't even I didn't even feel an accent or hear one. Like it was good. Just crazy cab cab ride. Alrighty, we made it off the cruise and we had breakfast and we went scooting around and saw the Space Needle. I didn't show them, but we've been riding scooters around Seattle. We're the Seattle Aquarium. scooter game. Oh, we're the Seattle scooter Jordan game. Like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now we made it to the aquarium. We're going to kill some time here because we have many hours till our plane ride. So we're going to kill mm -hmm. some time here and then yes. at the end we're going to do a candy taste test but that'll be in another video so make sure to stay tuned for a future video where we try candies we've never tried before. Audrey is touching one finger. <laughs> There's a mosquito. Ah. It doesn't, I feel like I'm touching nothing. Like it feels like water. Like I feel like I'm not, like, it doesn't feel like I'm touching anything. Really? It feels so weird. Like yeah, it just feels like water. But you should touch it. It's the weirdest experience. If you touch one of the ones deeper down or like one of the ones on this side, they'll actually like stick to your finger. Those ones tend to be our most tired. Oh yeah, they're they sticky. Are by everybody, including the little kiddos. The little kiddos. Sticky. Yeah. Can you touch this spiky? Yeah, is it pokey? Oh, squishy. That's cool. That's cool. Do that wiggly, squiggly. No. <laughs> squiggly. Oh. And they, it's like a little water balloon. Oh. Shrimpies under there. That's the flamboyant cuttlefish. Oh, he's doing the veins, veins. About our harbor seals here, if you'd like to join. Alrighty, so we just finished up the aquarium. And it was really fun. We saw some really cute seals. I don't think I showed the seals. Maybe I did show the seals. The seals were so I don't cute. know. 
some really cute seals, some cool fishes, and a few injured birds that they're rehabilitating. Yeah. But that is it for this travel vlog. Thanks for watching, but make sure to stay tuned for when we try candies we've never tried before. Be crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.